Hello, and welcome to another session on using Blender for video editing. Uh, in the past few sessions, we talked about masks, how to create your own masks inside of the movie clip editor, which you can get to from the motion tracking screen layout, and then how to apply it here in the video sequence editor just by using it as a mask modifier. Now, one thing we've seen is that uh, unless the person you're you're trying to cover with the mask doesn't move then uh, you're going to have a problem because the mask will stay in place as your subject moves today we're going to talk about how you can animate the position of the mask so that it can follow your subject so let's get started we have to go back into the motion tracking screen layout and as you can see i've already uh, this is the same layout from my previous sessions. Uh, by default, it won't look like this. It'll, it'll look something more like that. But we don't need any of these editors when we're creating masks. So that's the reason I am going to hide them all. Give us all the space we need so we can do the work here. To animate the masks, Generally speaking, I find it best to animate from beginning to end. It just it's easier to understand how how it's going to work. So I'm going to use my marker over here and jump to previous marker. This is the start of the scene. And uh, just as a refresher, let me scrub through so you can see what's going to happen. Here you can see this person is moving out of the mask when we get to the end marker. All right, so. The first thing to do when you want to animate a mask, the, either the position of it or even the size of it, is to click this red button down here. It's called it's uh, the automatic keyframe insertion. You click on that. And as soon as you click on that, you know it's on because then this little key ring thing just popped up next to it. At this point now, anytime you touch the mask in any way, uh, that counts as creating a keyframe. So let me scrub through here and I'll see that, okay, this is about when you can see down here, it starts getting out of, uh, his face starts coming out from the, the white line of this mask. So over here, I'm just gonna back it up to this point. And I'm going to just force a keyframe right here so that nothing happens before then. And to do that, what I'll do is I'll press the G key, and remember the G key is to move um, the selected points. So right now that's what that would do, except I don't want to actually move it. I just want to set the keyframe. So let me press escape to cancel that. Um, and I'll press G again, and this time without touching the mouse, I'll just press G and then press enter. So that sets a keyframe at this point. Uh, so everything before that, it's going to be the mask will not animate at all. And it'll start animating from here. So now let me scrub a little bit over. And at this point, uh, okay, that's enough movement. So what I can do is here, I'll press G and I'll actually animate now. I'll, set, I'll move this over to about there. If I wanted to, because you know the person is approaching the camera, getting a little bit bigger on the screen, I can also scale it. I can make everything bigger. Oh, and by the way, one thing I forgot to mention is that you gotta make sure that all your points are selected, or typically that's what you would wanna do just by pressing the A key. If you don't if you don't see all of them lit up uh, and with a white line here, uh, then you definitely wanna to toggle that on. But anyway, so in addition to moving the mask position. I can also press the S key and then make it a little bit bigger. All right, and then I'll keep scrubbing over to, I guess, right to, to the end, right? Up until there. And then I'll press G again to move over to this position, S to make it a little bit bigger. And I'll press G one more time just to kind of Get it more. I mean, it's not. This is not perfect. I could spend the time to tweak individual bits if I really wanted to. Like, if I wanted to, I could click on that and drag that out a little bit more. But I don't want to get into that. So let's just stop there. 
I am going to jump back to the beginning here and just scrub through and see how that looks. And it's not bad. You can see here it's it's going a little bit too fast. So if I wanted to, right, uh, I could try and add another keyframe right here where it's a little bit too much. And well, oops, <laughs> there I didn't have all of the, the points selected. So let me press Escape. I'll press A twice to select everything, and I'll press G now to bring it over. Okay, there and left click to set it in place. Let me go back again. There, there, there. Oh, that's better. Still not perfect, but this is just a demonstration. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So now that this is done, it's already going to be working for you inside the video sequence editor, although you might need to refresh. So let's go back to the video editing screen layout. Oh, and this is the wrong scene. So let me go back to this scene where we're using that mask. And I will hit refresh sequencer. And let's see. So from here, goes over, goes over, goes over. And that did not work. Why did that not work? Ah, yeah, that, that, that uh, can trip me up. It defaults to this relative setting. I think it has to do with the, the timing, the position of where the mask is relative to everything else. So if you see that your hard work looks like it didn't do a thing, um, yeah, go here and click on absolute. Okay, that I think is working now. So let's just make this a little bit bigger and scrub through this again. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so that's basically it. That's how you can animate your mask inside of the movie clip editor within the motion tracking screen layout. And then when you're applying it, yeah, make sure that you have the absolute setting enabled for your mask modifier. And that, that will work. And you might want to turn off your automatic keyframe insertion when once you're done. I'm not sure what else it does. So. I try to make sure I have it turned off unless I am actively um, trying to animate my masks. Okay, so um, before we go, there's two things I want to share with you. Uh, first is that your mask, it can be more than one shape. So if, for example, I wanted to, to censor this person's face and the back of this person's head, you, I can do that. I can go into the motion tracking screen layout and let me zoom that out a bit and I'll create a new one. So this will be, I'll say the two people, right? And then for the first one, I can, I'll add a circle. And by the way, you can add just like in the video sequence editor, you can just press capital A, shift A, and then it'll give you the option circle or square. You pick a circle. They always get added to wherever this cursor is, which you can move around with the left mouse button. I think it's only there to to indicate where masks get added to. But anyway, um, so I'll select that and I can drag this over with G, scale it up a little bit, uh, and then I'll add another one. I will, you know, I can left click here if I wanted to and then add and then maybe this time I'll do a square, right? And then now I'll scale that one over. Okay, and that's my two people mask. If I go back over to video editing and I change this mask for blur to my two people mask, there. I mean, a little, little bit hard to see, but uh, there's the blur on that person's face and on the back of this person's head. So that's how you can, you can have a mask that does more than one thing. For the rest of the video, what I'm gonna do is I'll just show you uh, how I would go about animating for a larger sequence is more or less the same thing. Uh, so I'll just end it officially here by saying, I hope you liked this. If you did, please do give it a like and subscribe to see more content. And we'll see you next time. If you want to stick around, I'm just gonna animate, I'm gonna create a new mask to, to censor Agent 327 over the whole period from when he gets into the store until, until here. Uh, and I'll put that in like a fast forward. Uh, but anyway, we'll see you next time.